Hello everyone and welcome to another session of AP Human Geography with Mr. Elrod. Uh, I hope you guys have had a good week. I hope that you've had a good start to your today. What we're going to do is just we're going to recap some of the things that we've discussed in my class uh, for this particular week and uh, you know maybe hopefully you can learn something from it. Uh, if you're from my class hopefully it's just a refresher of uh, some of the things that we've addressed during the week. So this is the beginning of the year uh, and with the beginning of the year we always start with the basics of geography and so throughout uh, throughout the course of the week We've really tried to emphasize uh, the idea of location. Uh, in geography, it's important to remember that really the main idea within the, within the study of geography is all going to be about space. Uh, so identifying space and then using the different tools that we have in order to analyze that particular space. So space is hugely important to geography. So we talked about the idea of location, and so we were looking at absolute location and relative location. Uh, the differences between those two as well as the idea of site and situation is the characteristics that are going to uh, define a particular space or a specific space. But then we moved on to the idea of the different tools of geography. So we, we talked about the space, we talked about the idea of uh, the space that we want to look at as geographers, then we looked at the different tools that we can utilize in order to study that particular space. So within geography we talk about a lot of different types of models, so obviously in the very beginning we talk about maps and maps used to display the data that geographers are going to be studying and what it is that they're going to be analyzing. Then we look at the different types of data that the geographers are going to collect. So talking about the quantify, uh, so talking about the qualitative and the quantitative forms of data and then of course using that data to display on the different types of maps, predominantly the different types of thematic maps which we're going to be, uh, which we're going to be addressing uh, next week. The other tools uh, that we looked at were things like GIS and GPS, uh, using those different technologies in order to display that information on maps or then also uh, pinpoint the locations on the map. So we have this idea of location, uh, again identifying the space, then we move on to the idea of the different tools of geography, the things that we can use in order to analyze uh, those particular spaces that we've identified. The idea of region and the concept of trying to connect uh, particular areas based upon the different types of characteristics uh, that, that 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 area has and of course the three different types of regions the formal the functional and the vernacular region looking at the differences between those and how we find different connections across space depending on which region it is that we're looking at uh, and then of course once we've identified the region then we can go back to that idea of the different tools of geography in order to study that space but again the idea of region just to try and classify space uh, so that we can begin our studies uh, we also looked at the idea of density and distribution as ways to describe the space that we're looking at. And so we talked about the difference between density and distribution, uh, how the idea that density is simply the number of events or things that are found within a space, and of course distribution is, the thing, is uh, where the things that are taking place are spread across uh, that particular space. Uh, and then at the end of the week we looked at the idea of movement and we looked at the idea of place. So of course this idea of movement is going to be really important because once we've identified that, play, that place, we want to understand how things, not just, uh, not just people, but also ideas and goods, uh, things along those lines, move within the space. And then of course we could then move on to the conversation uh, dealing with the different types of diffusion, okay? whether we're talking about the relocation diffusion or the different types of expansion diffusion and the significance of uh, the different elements of so society as it pertains to the different types of diffusion that are going to be taking place in that particular space. And then lastly, we touched on the idea of cultural ecology or human environment interaction. So again, going back to the idea of space, identifying the space that we're in, and then within that space, what are the different ways that people interact with the environment? What are the different ways that the environment interacts with people and the different theories that relate to uh, that element. Now, there are more than these three, but the three that we discuss in class are uh, the idea of environmental determinism, the idea that the environment determines the outcomes of society or, or places very stringent barriers on people which people cannot overcome, the idea of possibilism, the idea that the environment creates some barriers, um, but those barriers are able to be overcome, and then the idea of cultural determinism. Uh, simply the idea that the environment doesn't place restrictions on us, it's only uh, going to be the culture that we have that's going to place the restrictions on us. Uh, so those are the ideas that we discussed this week. Again, the very beginnings of geography, the idea of the basics of geography, how is it that we study space, uh, the idea that space is really the most important element within geography, identifying our space and then going about uh, the different ways to analyze it. So I hope that you've had a good week. I hope that uh, things are going well for you in the course. 
And uh, as we go throughout the weeks, so I'll probably uh, try to give you these weekly updates to just review some of the material we've been discussing in class. If you ever have any questions, just feel free to, uh, to shoot me an email, send me a message on, or put a message on the, uh, the YouTube channel. I'll try to address those questions. So I hope you have a great week. And as always, I hope to see you next time.